In 2017, you ran for the gubernatorial nomination. In 2018, you ran for Congress. In 2020, you ran for the US Senate. It's 2021, you're running for governor. It's caused the press to brand you as the perennial candidate. There's a slight insult in, in that. Do you take it as an insult? Not at all. I think uh, people believe in those that fight for them. And uh, there's a history in New Jersey of people that have run multiple times before they win. I mean, I think Chris Christie is a prime example. He ran for office, I believe, three, four times, and then he became governor. Uh, Christy Todd Whitman, on, their, on her third time running for office, she became uh, governor. And uh, if I'm correct, even if you look historically with Abraham Lincoln, when I entered in 2017, it was me with a group of friends, uh, really honestly just trying to say, how do we stop our state from falling apart? Uh, since then, I've learned how the political system in New Jersey works. And uh, the real reality is you only understand how the political system works by running for office. I was surprised that you wrote on your website that on January 6th, the riot in Washington, D.C. was caused by Antifa. You said everything was fine until the sun went down and then Antifa took over and disrupted things. Do you really believe that that election was stolen and that that riot was not Trump supporters rioting? So those are two different things. On January 6th, where the president, where President Trump had his rally, that was over 1.7 miles away from Capitol Hill. Where that rally happened, it was like a hippie fest from the 60s. It was peace, love, America. And what happened over on Capitol Hill? I didn't go to Capitol Hill. Um, what happened over there, I know nothing about, but it, there were a lot of indications that were sent to us that there were bad actors involved. I completely detest uh, any violence against law enforcement, any type of violence against those that are supposed to be protecting this country. Um, and so what happened on Capitol Hill was completely disgusting. I disavowed it on my Facebook page. And uh, I think that it's really horrible that, that they're being conflated. Jack Chatterelli is the likely Republican nominee. He's got all the establishment backing. You're a long shot. Would you agree or disagree? I, I disagree heavily. Why? I think I have the name ID. I think there's a lot of concerns with how the election was conducted last year. I have a feeling that uh, with a, a choice given to the people of the state uh, in the primary, uh, it is very likely that uh, people's histories when they look at how uh, Mr. Shadarelli voted in the past, uh, if they look at uh, what I stand for, how they're diametrically opposed, uh, they may want to be with the candidate who is America first. I mean, our slogan is make New Jersey great again. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. All right, Hirsch Singh, thanks for telling us a little about your campaign. Good luck. Thank you very much, sir. It's always an honor.